In this video, we will discuss S and Z parameters. Scattering parameters, shortly called as S parameters, are used to describe how energy propagates inside an electrical network or through an electrical network. S parameters are used to describe the relationship between different ports in terms of energies, not just voltages and currents. It rather discusses something with respect to waves, incident reflected waves. At higher frequencies, where the wavelength becomes comparable to the length of element, it is much recommended or the right way of discussing is through waves and not just currents and voltages at point. Right? So this S parameter helps us in that fashion. So if I have a black box with two ports, let's say this is an electrical network. And when I say black box, I mean, I don't know what's there inside, but I can characterize this black box, this electrical network, what is happening through defining or explicitly stating what their S parameters are. Let's see. So for characterizing, I connect two ports, uh, namely P1, port 1 and port 2. And let's say the reference impedance of these two ports are Z1 and Z2 respectively. Right. And let's say the incident wave is represented by A1 and the reflected wave by B1. Incident wave, the wave going inwards, forward wave, wave coming outwards, reflected wave or backward wave. Same here, incident wave A2 reflected wave B2 right if uh, in other terms if I can simplify the way I represented the two port I can make it one prime and two prime as grounds and I can just say it as forward going wave as a one backward coming wave as B1 this is B2 backward A2. The relationship between these A1 and B1, let's discuss them. Let's say the units of A i or B i are volts per root ohms. Let's say the incident wave is represented by V i that is going inward wave and reflected wave is represented by VR reflected wave right in that case we can write A1 as V incident wave at port 1 by root of ZI reference impedance why is it so if I square A1 I get V incident I square by Z1 which is nothing but incident power so extending this A2 VI2 by root of Z2 same thing if I square it A2 square it's VI2 square by Z2 that is incident power of port 2 this is at port 1 P1 this is again incident power of port 2 if I am uh, if I am shooting some wave from port 2 this is the power and let's say B1 V reflected 1 by root of Z1 this is uh, again squaring this will give me VR1 square by Z1 this is reflected power and so B2 VR2 by root Z2 squaring this B2 square will give me VR2 square by root of Z2 which is reflected power and uh, let me give you a little bit of caution here the Z1 and Z2 are the port impedances impedance of this port the port that we are using for excitation right and not the looking in impedances so now what is the relation between a1 a2 b1 b2 so they are described 
exactly by S parameters. B matrix is equal to product of S and A matrices. And for a two point network that becomes this B1, B2, S11, S12, S21, S22, the matrix notation that you already know. And if I expand it, it becomes this. From this, I can write this S11 as S11 as B1 by A1 when A2 is equal to 0. If I put A2 equal to 0, this becomes B1 is equal to S11 A1. So S11 will be B1 by A1 when A2 is equal to 0. Similarly, B2 2. Similarly, S2 2 will become B2 by A2 at A1 is equal to 0. When this becomes 0, this becomes B2 is equal to S2 to A2. Similarly, when A1 becomes 0, when A1 becomes 0, B1 by A2 will be S12. Okay, uh, now we have brought the whole equations to a stage where we can relate the S parameters with A1, B1, A2, B2, etc. Right. Now let's try to understand what this S11, S22, S12, S21 actually mean. Okay, uh, this is our two port network and let's say one is our input port 1 is our input side and port 2 is our output side and we said the impedance of this port is z1 and this port is z2 all right now s11 is b1 by a1 a1 is forward wave b1 is backward wave it is ratio of b1 by a1 which means reflected by incident so people call it as reflection coefficient how much is being reflected when i send something right. if i uh, i express s11 in db it is called as return loss how much loss that is occurring because of the returning wave reflected wave right same definition for s22 the same as uh, b2 by a2 so return loss at port 2 rl let's say return loss at port 2 so s11 is return loss at port 1 s22 is return loss at port 2 now let's understand s12 and s21 let's look at s12 it is b1 by a2 right b1 a2 is wave going into this a2 right so this is energy coming into port 1 this is port 1 the port that we use for excitation into this port 1 because of the energy that is transmitted into this port of the network port 2 of the network or transmitted by the port 2 that we use for excitation right so the energy that is going into this port because of this port uh, in some terms energy that is transmitted into port 1 that we excited from port 2 because this is output and input that we defined we can call it as isolation because we don't want something that is happening at this port to be coming at this port right that's what the isolation means even if there is some signal that is catching into this that should not go to this point that's what the isolation means so s12 is isolation now let's look at s21 s21 is b2 by a1 this is b2 so the energy going into port 2 because of the excitation excitation incident wave a1 from port 1 so can we call it as insertion loss the meaning of this is the loss that is occurred because of this network that is inserted between these two ports 
right so let's say there is one port p1 and the other port p2 and because a network n is introduced and this has some loss that is characterized with s21 the loss that occurred because of the insertion of this network insertion loss but for all of these things to make more sense let's make z11 equal to z2 z1 equal to z2 the impedance of this port 1 equal to port 2 now what happens when we have a port p1 whose impedance z0 let's say z1 equal to z2 equal to z0 is directly connected to another port p2 whose impedance is again z0 and if i send something here a1 that goes here without any loss incident wave no reflections so which is called as b2 so here b2 is equal to a1 because the impedance this is seeing is again z0 uh, no reflection at all goes straight into b2 is equal to a1 now i have introduced some element here and now my b2 may not be equal to a1 there can be gain there can be suppression so the loss that occurred because of the introduction of this network and that is called as insertion loss which is characterized by s21 right so at this condition when z1 equal to z2 this whole thing will become equal to vr2 by vi1 right see uh, voltage gain we can say but it's not exactly a voltage gain it's something to be called as a power gain b2 by a1 and this will be vr1 by vi2 the voltage that is seen at port 1 because of a wave that is incident at port 2 isolation justified insertion loss or we can call it as gain right voltage that is seen going into port 2 because of a voltage that is incident at port 1 either insertion loss or gain all right now let's jump into the z parameters z parameters discusses the whole system in terms of voltages and currents nothing else we don't discuss z parameters or we don't associate z parameters with the energies okay now the two port for characterizing we again put a port here and here for characterizing and let's say the current going into the system i1 plus i1 current coming out will be minus i1 current going into plus i2 the current coming out minus i2 voltage v2 voltage v1 and if i make this notation it's again the same this is i1 this is i2 voltage with respect to ground v1 voltage with respect to ground v2 all right now the z parameters are defined this way v matrix is equal to product of z matrix and i matrix now for two port network v1 v2 z11 z12 z21 z22 into i1 i2 uh, if i expand this matrix and make it as equations z11 into i1 plus z12 into i2 v2 is equal to z21 into i1 plus z22 
into i2 now at the rate i2 is equal to 0 now when i2 is equal to 0 v1 is equal to z11 i1 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 now what does this mean at i2 equal to 0 as you all know current flowing at an open circuit is 0 now let's remove the port at this point so the current i2 should be 0 right oh there is a port or test source here plus minus v test so v1 is equal to v test and current going in i1 what does this say this says that z looking in is equal to z11 isn't it which is equal to v1 by i1 right and the voltage at this point v2 so v2 by i1 z21 the same thing for the other case also when i1 is equal to 0 you open this port and you put a voltage source here we test i1 looking in impedance that is this i have discussed this earlier in a video on how to calculate looking in impedances it explains clearly there we go and simulate the s and z parameters of some simple networks so before we go there before we go there there is a formula to calculate s11 by voltage standing wave ratio vswr thing so s11 is z in minus z naught by z in plus z naught z in is the looking in impedance from this port z in and z naught is nothing but z1 reference or characteristic impedance of this port of excitation and when we read z11 for calculating z11 port 2 is open which means the simulator first opens up this node so this port will not be there this will be an open circuit floating and then calculates i1 v1 v2 and i2 is equal to 0 and then reports the impedance z in as z11 so when you plot z11 in a simulator it opens up this resistance so whatever that is there at this point that is not considered because this is this node is open floating and i2 is equal to 0 same for this if you are looking at z in from this point the z22 this port will be opened up here it is open so it doesn't matter whatever that is there here right now let's jump into simulation